Are you looking for a company formation in Czech Republic? I will explain how to register a Czech legal entity. But remember, FX B2B Hub can take responsibility and register a company for you. Registering a company in Czech Republic involves several steps, including the following. Choose your business structure. The first step in registering a company in the Czech Republic is to decide on the structure of your business. The most common type of business structures in Czech Republic are sole proprietorship, partnership, limited liability company, SRO, and joint stock company, AS. Choose a company name. Once you have decided on the structure of your business, you will need to choose a name for your company. Your company name must be unique and not already registered in the Czech Republic. Register with the Trade Register All businesses in the Czech Republic must register with the Trade Register. You can do this online at or.justice.cz. You will need to provide information about your business, including your chosen business structure, company name, and address. Register for taxes. Depending on the type of business you are running, you may need to register for taxes with the Czech Tax Administration. You can do this online at portal.mfcr.cz. Open a business bank account. You will need to open a business bank account in the Czech Republic in order to conduct business transactions. Obtain any necessary permits or licenses. Depending on the nature of your business, you may need to obtain permits or licenses from the relevant authorities in the Czech Republic. Comply with Czech labor laws. If you plan to hire employees in the Czech Republic, you will need to comply with Czech labor laws and regulations. Note that the process of registering a company in the Czech Republic can be complex and it may be helpful to seek the advice of a professional, such as an accountant or a lawyer, to ensure that you are complying with all necessary requirements. The taxation system in the Czech Republic is based on a progressive income tax system, a value-added tax, VAT, and a corporate tax. Income tax The income tax in the Czech Republic is progressive, with rates ranging from 15% to 32%. The tax is levied on the income of individuals and entities that generate income in the Czech Republic. The tax year in the Czech Republic runs from January 1st to December 31st. Value-added tax – VAT the VAT in the Czech Republic is a consumption tax that is levied on the sale of goods and services. The standard VAT rate is 21%, and there are reduced rates of 15% and 10% for certain goods and services. Businesses that generate VAT in the Czech Republic must register for VAT and file regular VAT returns. Corporate tax the corporate tax in the Czech Republic is a flat rate of 90% on taxable profits. Corporations that generate income in the Czech Republic are subject to this tax. Social security contributions. In addition to income tax, individuals and employees in the Czech Republic are required to pay social security contributions. The rates for social security contributions are set by law and are based on the individual's income. There are also various tax deductions, credits, and incentives available to the Czech Republic. For example, individuals can deduct expenses such as mortgage interest and charitable contributions from their taxable income. Companies can claim tax credits for research and development activities and investments in certain regions. 
Overall, the taxation system in the Czech Republic is considered to be relatively simple and transparent, with a low tax burden compared to many other European countries. However, it is important for individuals and businesses to understand their tax obligations and seek professional advice as needed. FX B2B Hub completely covers the process from documents preparation to stamp printing. You can apply conveniently for you by sending an email through messengers, our social networks from our websites or by phone. In case you have any extra questions, don't hesitate to contact us 24 hours, 7 days a week. You can find out more information about offshore, onshore or midshore zones during a personal consultation with our manager. All information and contact details you can find below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to be informed about all the interesting news and details in the fintech world.